That was the 10th of November when Professor Charles Chukuma Soludo was declared winner of the Anambra governorship election. I, Charles Chukuma Soludo, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear. Four months later, the man from Iswafia in Agwata local government area takes the oath of office as governor of Anambra state. I present to you the Soludo solution. We are contract with the people which we intend to vigorously implement subject to resource availability. Expectations are piling up for a man who is less than one week in office as governor. Ifanyi Ibebugu owns a printing press in Oka, the state capital. The businessman wants the new governor to address certain issues in the state. We are calling on the new government led by Professor Asurudo to look into the infrastructure development of the state, the roads in particular. Another one is that he should look into the multiple taxation of revenue. It's, it's, it's very high in Anambra state. The people's expectations do not come in short supply. Professor Salud, our governor, I believe in him. So I believe that he can deliver the state to the promised land. I want him to look into the grassroots level to understand what the people need, what they want from him. I would like him to focus on road infrastructure. Of course, you know, once the roads are good, businesses will be flourishing. Seriously, I have confidence in uh, Professor Shah Saludo in performing very well, even beyond Mr. Peter Obi. This is the Ekeoka roundabout in Oka. Tricycles and other means of public transport add to the sights and sounds of the busy area, popularly known for commercial activities. God has given us a nice governor, and we believe that he's an intellectual man without being told, and we believe and we have prayed that by his grace, there must be a change. I like Soludo, and I expect him to give us good ele electricity, then repair our roads, then free education. School fees are very expensive, so I don't have money. That's why I'm hustling to get money to go back to school. I'm very, very happy that he went to Opoku and see the poor people there that have been crying for a long time. And I know it's going to do a very wonderful job in Anambra. It's going to make poor people laugh. The commendations are laced with expectations from a man who first nursed the ambition of serving his people about 13 years ago, but today is in the saddle of governance in Anambra State. Ufiyeteme George, Arise News.